What's up guys, Dark Dally here playing Farming Simulator 22 and today I want to test out some of the first mods that are just coming out for it. I want to see uh, if you're getting any bugs or errors or anything like that and check out some of the first mods. As, as of right now, the game just came out yesterday morning and mods are starting to pop up on the internet and a few in the mod hub and um, to my knowledge there's no um, Giants editor out yet so these are going to be, my guess would be, yeah, ported from FS19. So I want to check out some of the mods that are available. There's very limited mods available on the Mod Hub. Okay, I just started a new game to record this in. So, uh, where's mods? So here's the ones that I have now. Not all these came from the Mod Hub. Look at that, my first MTZ82. <laughs> one of the most like popular, besides the Caravettes, one of the most popular Russian tractors I find. It. Yeah, my first MTZ82. This tractor, oh my god, there must have been 50 different versions of this in FS19. Here's the first appearance of it here, along with some old Ursus tractors. I'm eager to try out a lot of this stuff. And, oh yeah, we got a uh, Rostamash uh, Harvester 2. Don 1500. I want to check, take, take a look at that. The first thing I want to do is now some of these might have bugs, might cause log issues. E, okay, there's a lot to go through here. First of all, yeah, this game's a little more intense on my system. Uh, if GPU prices ever go down, I'm going to be looking to get a new GPU because I'm running at about 40 frames as opposed to uh, what I was running in Farming Simulator 19. But you can't tell because I'm recording this in 30 frames. All right. First, um, I downloaded a money cheat. Now, this is a separate save game. This is not my farm. So, I downloaded a money cheat so I can purchase these things and try these mods out for you guys. So, first, let's try this and see. Uh... Okay, that works. Bam, million dollars. There we go. All right. So, again... Um... The mods I got that were not from the mod hub, I got from fs19mods.com. They have a whole section of FS22 mods there. Uh, 17 pages of them. Not all looked very stable. I downloaded the ones that looked stable. So, let's start having a look at some of these. First, let's have a look at the store. Okay. Well, I'm eager to see this MTZ82. I'm, I'm eager to see modded tractors because you could often get, you know, old school tractors for much cheaper, reducing the startup costs on your farm. So here's the ones that we got. <clears throat> we got us. I haven't tried this one yet, so let's go ahead and buy one of these. And so standard options. We'll just take it as it is. And... Belarus MTZ82, and here we have some options. Um, uh, what are we looking at? Horsepower? Oh, yeah. But I think we should be able to go up to 100 horsepower. Let's see here. Uh, given my experience with. Uh, okay. Do wheel weights, beacon, front loader attacher. Um, and then design color, rim color. Oh, that's cool. This looks pretty solid. A lot of the MTZ82 mods on uh, 19 weren't so. Well, I'm sure this is a, just one that was ported. And All right. Well, let's we'll just go ahead and buy it as it is. We're going to test it out. I want to see how these mods work, see if there's any errors. Because, yeah, to my knowledge, like I said, okay, no options on this little guy. Little uh, Porsche Junior 108. Never seen this tractor. Let's just go ahead and buy one of these. Seventy-five hundred bucks. Make a good little. I don't know. It said it would it'd be good for vineyards. It looks a little wide, but um, it's probably just so small that it looks wide. Let's have a look at. Yeah, guys, I'm kind of cruising through this because I'd like to get through this here. So we had a couple different Ursus tractors. Yep, two different ones. Um, Two-wheel drive and a four-wheel drive. So, oh wow, lots of options here. Look at this. Lots of options. Oh yeah, there was no engine. So I, I thought I could upgrade the horsepower on the MTZ, but I guess not. 
Uh, we can take us up to 52 horsepower. Um, we'll do that. We can put a front loader attacher. Oh yeah, I know the MTZ82 came with its own um, front loader. Oh wow, we have lots of options here. We're not really gonna mess with these. Just wanna see if the mod works decently. Oh, little uh, reflective triangle. Uh, yeah, I think they're missing the red part on that. Yeah, we're gonna see. This should be red in there, if I'm not mistaken. Um, yeah, like that, and then um, weights. Just kind of see what we can get here. Okay, front loader attacher. Let's put that on there. And then we're not going to mess with the colors. Let's just go ahead. Oh, we can put a cabin on this. So it's quite a few options. Cabin, where did I see it? Oh, there it is. Whoa, it's like we're at the top. In fact, it looks like there's stuff above there I can't get to. Interesting. All right, we'll just put this on. We'll just slap this on. And then let's let's just buy this as it is. Well, let's put a cabin on it. A different cabin. All right, let's check out some of the other stuff. I didn't download all the mods. I just downloaded a few. Some of the you know ones that looked like they were stable. And oh, let's check out this Rostomash Don 1500. Do we have anything else? This I got off the mod hub, I believe. Anything on the mod hub, you can pretty much guarantee is going to be you know stable, at least from my experience. All right, let's check out the Don 1500B and see what we can do with it. Now, it looks like it's not, it looks already dirty, but it does say that it gets dirty and shows where it has no options, not even a license plate, uh huh. All right, well, let's go ahead and buy this. $15,000 though, and it's got, it doesn't see how much horsepower it has. So yeah, some of these might be, I made sure that uh, I was getting version 1.0s and I didn't download any, I skipped the ones that said they had errors, I skipped the ones that were beta mods. Well, this doesn't even say how much horsepower it has. Usually I look at the horsepower of a harvester because it you know, kind of gives you an idea of what size cutter you can run. And anything else here? Didn't I download a... No, there was a couple of vehicles, but they, they said there might be errors in them, so I didn't download any of those. Trailers. Pretty sure we have... Okay, this one right here, I can guarantee works. This might be on the mod hub. Either way, this one works just fine. In fact, I'm using it on my main farm. This I just downloaded today off yeah again fs19mods.com is where i have been going that's where i went chet hopper trailer what's different between this and i'll oh, see capacity see yeah it's listing the capacity see now it's listing capacity as cubic meters and this is listing capacity like it did in uh 19 it's listing it by liters so again but yeah with the editor not out yet people are just I, I guess it's kind of you know crudely um, porting the mods over I'm not really sure of the process I'm, I might start making some mods and stuff myself I never got into it in 19 I might just do that here what else did we download oh, we can have a look and see oh, I'm looking through this stuff okay front loaders here we're gonna see stuff for Okay, so here's going to be Rostlemash. Okay. I don't know if Belarus is part of Rostlemash or not, but anyway, this is for the MTZ82. May as well go ahead and let's go ahead and download. Let's go ahead and buy one of these. And let's get some forks to go with it. And did we get the front loader on the Ursus? Oh, we didn't get it on the MTZ82. Well, regardless. Um, and then we have... Let's just check out the basic stuff for right now. Oh, we have all kinds of stuff for the Ursus. We have all kinds of stuff for the Ursus tractors. Ursus is Polish, is it not? I believe so. Um, correct me if I'm wrong. Well, we're going to see a lot of Polish tractors. And hopefully some more Russian tractors. And I can't wait to see the first couple of Russian maps ported over. Because you guys know I love Russian maps. Maps are probably going to be a bit. To get a real good error-free map. 
let's go down here and see. Oh yeah, there is a trailer. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's, um, I found a Russian tipper. And then we have a low loader. Oops. So, let's go up here to um, trailers. And we're gonna have a PTS 11 trailer that I downloaded. All right, give that a go. Hmm. It's not showing it. Yeah, I've already encountered that problem. I downloaded a government subsidy mod, which is on the mod hub, and I cannot find it anywhere in the game, and it could just be human error not knowing where it's at. All right, well, let's look at low loaders. Um, here we go. We do have a new low loader. Uh, two. Let's try... Um, let's try this guy. And oh, we don't have a truck. We'll buy a truck. We'll buy a truck for it. What's the difference? Oh, the ramps. Okay, well, let's get those ramps. We'll buy a truck to pull that. And then this one right here. Let's try this out. What's my option? Extended rails? Eh, sure, why not? Now, where is that PTS-11 tractor, or trailer, I should say? Let's have a look at uh, miscellaneous. Not here. Huh. Yeah, it's interesting. So, yeah, this is why I'm doing this video, guys. We're going to see some stuff that's not appearing. The PTS-11 is a standard... Um, regular tipper trailer. I don't know why it's not appearing here unless I... Wow. Um... Is it showing in my mods? No, it's not. I may have skipped it. I saw it, but I may have skipped it because there's going to be more. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of Russian equipment coming through, just like there was in 19... I might have seen, I might have sensed that there was a log error or something in it and not done it. Let's go ahead and buy us a truck to pull that one trailer. Um, where's trucks? I'm still getting used to this. Well, yeah, this game just came out like yesterday. Uh, Mac trucks now, that's cool. Just buy this as it is. Oh, that's cool. Old school Mac truck. Let's just buy that for $110,000. All right. Let's flip around. Man, yeah. I'm running at 40 frames. I might. Okay, so first up, we have the Fiat 1300 DT. Very popular tractor from, uh, uh, oops, from 19. Just, just see how she operates. And I want to check out some of the options. Let's look at the inside. Gauges work. A little shifter works. Huh? Pedals work. It's fully animated. This is probably a really, yeah, refined one from 19. I, I'm guessing that was ported over. Now, how, you know, how much can I really, you know, error test these out in a, a, a simple short video? Not much. But we're just checking out the first few mods that are available. Let's see. This thing should go up around a couple hundred horsepower, if I'm not mistaken. In 19, you could get this thing up to like 195 horsepower or something, which is quite a bit for a small tractor. Uh, customize. Okay. This one, anyway, is not letting me. It comes with 150. Hey, that's good for a small tractor. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. All right. One thing I like with this game is we can now pull up multiple vehicles in here and choose what we want to mod. I like that so much. I hated pulling up tractors with attachments and then... Uh, yeah. So let's... Okay, so this is... Uh, oh, darn it. There's a lot of mods I want to see and one of them is one that starts the engine when I hit the gas pedal. I missed that mod. Also, I'm really waiting. I, I know it's coming. I know they're coming. Mods that let me process rocks into like limestone or gravel or concrete, things like that. There's a whole production chain in this game now. 
I'm I'm saving up all the rocks I get from my fields because I know there's going to be mods that do stuff with them. Now there are already. There's a mod. There's a a stone silo uh, I found on the internet, and there's one that says there's a processing plant that processes stone into lime, but they didn't look. Um, they didn't quite. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait and you know wait till the modding gets more. Yeah, until I try those out. So here's a. Uh, this is a trailer. So let's check this out. Looks pretty standard. We're gonna try filling this. We'll fill this at the at the farm. But one thing, what I was saying about like this, this is something I wanted so desperately. There's a few things in Farming Simulator 19 I wanted desperately, and this is one of them. We can pull up multiple things here and choose what we want to modify or whatever. And that, oh, I wanted that so bad. We're gonna take this. To the farm let's just park it back over here it looks good but i want to see it filling and, and and dumping is what i want to see oh we're going to want a header for that uh harvester there we're going to want a header for this harvester it's one thing i did forget um let's see what are we looking for oh here we go headers it should have its own. It says it comes with one, so I know it will. And let's see what we got. Russell Mash. Uh, how big is it? Six meters. Okay, so here. Um, okay, so you could, if assuming this works all well and good, you could start the game with the harvester it gives you, sell it for a bunch of money, and buy this for what, a total of about 20000 Let's we'll see how this works. And what kind of corn header whoops, are we going to have for this guy? doesn't come with one just unless sometimes I remember with the Dawn it put a corn header in this section not in this case all right so all we have at least right now hey it's day number two of the game and we have mods let's see how this guy runs and sounds and operates oops okay I don't know what that sound cutout was, but I like the clanky running sound. Um, why can't I fold or unfold it? Yeah, there's no way to fold or unfold it. Well, let's check it out and see if it works. We got a field that's ready to harvest. It says it gets dirty and washes, even though it already looks dirty. Uh, well, but it looks nice. It does look nice. I don't recall seeing this exact model. I, I recall having a Don 1500B, but it didn't. It wasn't this exact one. But again, there was a lot of different models of various Russian equipment. Let's try this guy out. Oops. I guess it. I guess it's just always unfolded because there was no way to fold the uh okay um lower header and make sure we get a full working speed of we can six miles an hour and also i mean this looks good right looks like it's fine let's park it for now Let's park this for now. Let's check out. So we got this trailer. Well, I haven't had any errors or anything like that. So I'm gonna, um, this stuff is looking okay. Let's have a look in here. I'm so used to pushing the gas pedal to start. This tractor has no sound. Uh, it says I'm idling. Yeah, you can see right there. Oh, just no sound from the cab. No, there's no sound. That's just the tires and the gravel. All right, so I'm gonna be put sidelining this and looking for an update on this. This tractor has no sound. In fact, I just turned it off and it, even my tachometer is off. Look at my tack. Look at my tack. Uh. Two, two, six. 
start it. So now it's running. Now it's off. So yeah, it says it's off, but okay, so the tack's off on this thing and there's no sound. All right, so hey, there we go. That's what I was looking for right there. Let's check out the other one. It's probably gonna be the same. Yeah, it's the same thing. Um, let's check the little Porsche. All right. Yeah, the tachometer was off on it. The tax said 200, 200, 600. Um, this is idling right where it should be. Sounds like it's idling right above 800 RPMs. Okay, I was right. It's, it, it looks wider than it should be for a vineyard, but it's just because the whole tractor itself is tiny. Look how big, look how small it is next to me. All right, this little tractor looks good. Let's see if we can, uh... all right. It's only got like 14 horsepower, I think. Check out this. Yes, uh, we, we got unloading sounds for this. I'll just check in. Uh, it does have straps. Oh, I can't wait till we get vehicle straps. There's a lot of mods I'm waiting for. A lot of mods a lot of people are waiting for from FS19. Well, this seems to work just fine. It has good sound. It has yeah, unique sound. Start up, shut down, everything. How is there a car? <laughs> Sorry, buddy, you're trapped. <laughs> I don't know. I've never seen a car turn in here before. And now the MTZ82. I really want to see this guy. Belarus MTZ82. Come on, baby. Oops. Okay. Let's have a look at it. It looks a little... Now it looks good. Textures look good on it to me. Sounds good. I'll be trying these out some more and letting you guys know how everything performs, but except for the Ursus ones, I'll be wait, looking for an update on those. I'll probably uh, remove that mod, except for those. Wow, traffic does come through here. Look at another one. All right, so except for those, everything else is working great. Let's try that one other trailer we haven't tried yet. I wanted to try a filling and dumping of that trailer over there. We're not going to have time in this video. The time is just flying by on this video. Yeah, I'm used to pushing the gas pedal to start the engine. So that's my bad. Why that error, that message keeps popping up. Let's back this up out of the way. Okay, boy, you're going to have to get out of the way so I can hook up my trailer. I'm still new to this game, well, as is everyone, as it just came out. Well, not everyone. Some people had early access. All right, let's see. All right, so unfold the loader. The sounds, the ramps. I don't recall seeing this in FS19, but there was a lot of mods. I mean, I had what, like 1,800 mods in that game, but so I didn't have all. I didn't have. I didn't have them all, but I had a lot. I don't recall seeing this trailer before. There's a lot of stuff I didn't see, I'm sure. All right. So, so far, even though there's not an editor yet, as I understand for this game, uh, a lot of these mods are looking good. This truck, of course, is not a mod, but everything else here is. The only thing is... Uh, so, yeah, this particular one, let's find it in my list here. These aren't working right yet. There's no sound. But that's why I made this video, because I expected that to happen, that, that, that precise exact thing. Um right here this pack right here I'm, I'm gonna say go ahead and avoid this for now or or you know get it if you want to i'm sure it'll be updated soon i'm sure they'll be like oh sound fixes you know everything else seems to work and run just fine i'm ready to get back to my game and start playing and i'm gonna try some of these out in my game and i'll get back to you on how some of these work and of course new mods as they come out I don't know when we'll start seeing maps. I imagine we're going to start by seeing ports from FS19 in maybe, you know, like months or something. I don't know before we actually see real 
new maps because I know the maps take a long time to make. Really waiting for a good Russian map. What was my favorite Russian map on uh, uh, 19? Was I guess Bukhova um, was my favorite. Yeah, that one. And then Rasvat were my two favorites. Yeah, yeah. Very production based. Lots of stuff to move around and do and this and that. But Bukhova was my favorite. All right, guys. Well, everything, we haven't tried out this. Oh, wait. I must have got this for the MTZ. Yeah, okay. I was going to say, wait, this is Russian. And our instructors are, like I said, I think Polish. Yeah, I got this for the MTZ, but I didn't get the loader for it. But I'm sure this will work. The, the MTZ seemed to work just fine. So I'll test this stuff out and I'll have a separate video on these. Um, all right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Did not intend for this video to take more than 10 minutes, but it took a little longer than I thought. I had more mods than I thought. Just just a few. I'm not downloading everything. I was, I was being very careful just to get the mods that um, looked like they'd be stable. And I did a pretty good job picking them out, except for, uh, yeah, these guys have no sound. And look at the tachometer. 200 RPMs, 200 RPMs, and they go straight to 6. And when you turn it off, say I turned it off, it says it's idling. I don't, I don't even know the tachometer's off on this but probably um, probably an issue due to porting it from fs19 and here we have different interface all right guys thanks so much for watching i'm ryan from dark dally leave any comments or thoughts or anything you want me to try or do in the uh comments below i'll be back soon with uh some more uh, a lot more content on farming simulator 22 as the game progresses and uh, there's so much more to come for this game i'm sure because uh, there's so much room for modding and improving things. The game's already great, but there's a lot of room for improvement, and I can't wait to see how that all pans out. Guys, thanks for watching. Once again, don't forget to don't forget to click subscribe and the little bell icon. Follow along as we venture into Farming Simulator 22 and all the wonder that's here. I can't wait to see new maps, new vehicles, and things like that. I can't wait to see what they have in store for us. All right, guys, I'm Dark Dally. I will catch you all next time.